two of those four interceptions were absolutely horrendous. Yeah, I mean, listen, it that was, was so bad. It looked like he was not going to entertain the answer, and then he did. Then the he looks like you know overthrows. I feel he was like he caught ball. himself. Well, a little there. He's, he's obviously perturbed by the whole situation, but yeah, I thought that was a decent answer on the back end there as he was going to dismiss it at first. Right. Well, and it's true. The, overthrow, the overthrows there he was were trying the problem. To, he's probably saying he's trying to cut it through the wind because it was 13 windy. 13 interceptions Mike in his last five games. Mike Rob's going to say that. Windy and it was no, windy. Well, people talk about it being windy. Okay, I got my, 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 my stats right here. Okay, uh, Jameis Winston, 18 for 35, 276 yards, one TD, four interceptions. Same game plan, same wind conditions, same everything. Ryan Fitzpatrick goes on 11, 15, 11 for 15, 194 yards, two TDs, zero interceptions. So... The, the, the environment Maybe. affected one guy, but didn't affect, didn't affect the other guy. Weird how that Maybe happens. Maybe it stopped. <laughs> yeah, the weird. wind, it just stopped, probably. Come on, they're Sean. in the jungle. You know? Come on, I mean, Sean. It's crazy. Come on, I'm with dude. you. I'm 13 with you. interceptions in the last five games. At some point, you have to say, maybe he's not a starter for, uh, for so our team. So, the first thing that I thought about this, if they do end up keeping Ryan Fitzpatrick in the lineup, that probably helps with Deshaun Jackson, who just asked for a trade, because him and Fitzpatrick have some pretty good chemistry going on, and I feel like those players really do respond to Fitzpatrick better than they respond well, to Winston. Players, saying some about Jameis. I was down there the week that Jameis came back, and Ian reported on this. Uh, I reported on this that a lot of guys in the locker felt like that week Derek Cutter was laying the groundwork for Jameis Winston to come back mm -hmm. as soon as Fitzpatrick slipped up, and he had the worst possible game he could have <laughs> in Chicago that yeah. week. Maybe he felt Jameis breathing down his neck. So now, if you're Cutter, okay, you've got two options that really aren't great. You've got Jameis Winston not playing well, so you can stick with him. Or you can go back to Ryan Fitzpatrick, in which case the locker room's going to say, dude, this was the guy that we wanted in there the whole time. So it's a really pivotal point for Dirk Cutter. And I understand why he went back to Jameis when Jameis – or when Fitzpatrick why? slipped up. Please. Because yeah. he's me. looking at it long term. He's thinking about his job, and he's thinking about the direction of the franchise and saying, well, if I can get this guy back in here to play well, hey, look what I'm doing with this guy. This is why I should remain the but coach. But if he's thinking of his job, he but should be – Starting That's Ryan what Fitzpatrick. I'm saying. And, and, and if it looks like a duck sounds like, I mean, you, you got to call a spade a spade at some point, right? And, and you, for, and, for what? I'm for, talking for about Jameis Winston. I mean, you, 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 at some point, you got to say, no, my job, I have my job based off of us winning games. And Ryan Fitzpatrick gives me a better chance to win games. Sean, what do you think? The, well, this plot, this is the problem that plagued Jameis Winston in college. Coming out of the draft, everybody said, well, he's reckless with the football. And we're seeing the same thing show up time and time again. The Bucks, listen, they're not good enough to win games turning the football over. I mean, the no. defense has already given up 33 points a game. You had you had four turnovers to it. It makes it even worse. Mike Smith just got fired a week ago. Yeah. All right, so you can't win games turning the ball over, especially not on the road. Now, here's the problem to me is you go from the pan to the fire. I mean, whether whether you want, you could bait this all you want, Fitzpatrick or Winston. They both throw picks. Yeah. I mean, Fitzpatrick, his last game as a starter, he threw three picks in like six minutes. So, you, 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 I mean, to me, I look at this team and I say, okay, we've got a defensive struggle. Maybe we need to, to run the football a little bit more. Maybe we need to stop throwing the they ball. They already said they're a pass more. first team. You well, know, how's that working out? <laughs> you know, I mean, but I will say this. I, I think the way that James handled it, hey, look, I've, I've, got to, I've got to play better, okay? That, that, that's good to see. It's good to see him stepping up, take showing some ownership. ownership. As a quarterback, you have to take care of that ball like your like your golem. My precious. I right? don't know. That's, I, <laughs> my you're, precious. Now you're Lord out, of the Rings right I, there. I, I figured it. You're outside my realm. More coffee for Mike. Jameis went more <laughs> books. I'm about to read books. I can tell you something about Lord of the Rings. Hold on. Jameis Winston, <laughs> before we go way off yeah. the rails, Jameis Winston next year, $21 million guaranteed for injury only. So Wrap now, him up in bubble. Uh -oh. take, that's I'm what the saying. Redskins Wrap did with up. RG3 because you don't want the guy getting hurt and being on the hook for that. If you're not going to commit to him for the future, these are the conversations and the thoughts that they need Honestly, to do you really? Oh, and I'm going to ask you, That's a math question. You, you, you've been in the locker room. Do you really think Jameis Winston should be the starting quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going, going forward for the foreseeable future? Yeah, I mean, I think this was a tough game for him. I, I want to see how he bounces back. So I would 15 get, interceptions in five games. Yeah, I, tough, I, what would you do if you were the coach? Games. If I was the coach, I, I would still play him because I still think he's, he gives us the best chance to win. And as you know, man, we got – hey, we're in the locker room. Who gives us the best chance to win? That's all and you, you know guys what? care about. Yep. We go, yeah. Jameis Winston, I don't care if it's Jameis or if it's Fitzpatrick. We're going to ride with either one of you guys. But all we want to do is win because at the end of the day, that's what this game is about. I don't care what your record is. I don't care what week it is. And you know what? I tell Winston, hey, look, if you throw two picks, you're, you're gone. That's, but, Sean, I'm yeah. just being honest. I've, I've been in a quarterback competition. It was in college. But that's, that's a lot of pressure. 
You know, yeah. every pass I throw now is like, I hope, you know, I hope it doesn't get picked. You know what I mean? Because you know there's a guy that they're, they're willing to put in. Yeah, I mean, he's got to know that, though. I mean, he knows he, there's already pressure on him with the way Fitzpatrick played early on. And coming back, he felt like, man, I got to keep up with this. So.